Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my simple cottage life. She's on the trail for of another lizard. He's climbing up that swing. She she's definitely persistent. I followed Mama this morning. Ooh, almost fell down. Now, I'm not going to go back there right now because I don't want her to see me. But I went back there earlier. My, um... I have an electric lawnmower back there that belongs to Brian. And I have a piece of tin, kind of like a lean-to over the top of it. And I followed Mama this morning. She went back up there and went under that tin. Now, you can see that area. That is shade all day long. And it's very, very cool. There's a wonderful breeze that blows through there. But she's got her kitties in there. And y'all, what I did was I got, <laughs> I got down on the ground back there and I kind of peeked, tried to peek anyway, up under that tin. And it's really dark in there. And I didn't want to get a flashlight because I don't want to scare her and I don't want her moving them. She's got them in the best place she could have them in. But what I saw was, I could just barely make it out, but there's no doubt in my mind it was a white kitten, baby white kitten. Hey there, big, beautiful baby. Hey there, my sweetheart. It's such a sweetie. He loves to walk where I am. He's been here today. But anyway, Mama has put her babies up under there, under that tin. And now this whole thing is fenced in as best as I can on the budget I had to work with. At least, you know, wild animals, big dogs, things like that can't get in here and hurt her babies. And so I'll be watching to see if um, if she moves them or not. I hope she leaves them here. I hope they grow right where they are so that I can get them and handle them and 
they will come to know me and I can get them and have them spayed or neutered. That little white one, I, I just know he's, I've seen a, a daddy, a daddy around here, big old white male cat. And I don't know how many more there are or what they are. I don't know anything about that. Look at that boy. Look at that beautiful boy. I love you. Look at that little lady. I love you, baby. Hello, baby boo. Hello, baby. So I got out here a while ago. And I cut these four clocks down. Just cut them off. Drastically trimmed them. I saw your comment um, about cutting them off and it won't have to work so hard to send nutrients up there and that was that they were too big way too big so I cut them down I got my hose out got everything watered look how good this is doing I'm really pleased with that that's going to make a beautiful rose here and she calls it seven sisters is what she calls it isn't that cool seven sisters there's that baby. You saw that baby. Anyway, I got out here earlier with the water hose and I watered all my plants. Put fresh water in their um, drinking bowl. Watered everything out here. It's looking good. Looks like a lot of stuff out here, doesn't it? <laughs> there is a lot of stuff. Somebody's comment said, I like all your doodads. 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 Whatchamacallits. Thingamajigs. Ginger baby. She, he wants to. I tell you, what if I go sit? What if I go sit on the bench over there and you will come and sit by me? He wants to be where I am. He really does. She was up here a while ago after that. Oh, look, y'all. There he is. <laughs> He's pretty smart. <laughs> look. He's up here. And she just has no clue that he's up there. Or she'd be trying her best to climb up there. Hey, beautiful. Your mama loves you. Your mama loves you, too. I love these guys. Oh, gosh, I love them. I love them, I love them. Anyway, I watered everything. Everything nice and watered and I sprayed off my patio. <laughs> oh honey, you almost tripped me. He wants to run and get under my, he wants to run and be with me. And he gets so close to me that he's going to trip me. Now he's up here. I tell you. Anyway, I sprayed off my patio and got all the dirt off of it cleaned off all the plants, washed the table off. I'm not going to plant any more plants, y'all. I'm just not. I think I've got enough to take care of, don't you? I mean, I have enough as it is. Now, I've still got pots because I took that rose out of one of those big um, pots over there around my bird bath. And so I have an empty pot, a big pot too, a turquoise in a turquoise pot. So I need to put something in there. And I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. I think I want to get a little dwarf azalea and put in that big pot. 
maybe two pots and then one on one side and one on the other out there by my swing or something like that. I think I want to do that. It's kind of nice out here right now. Today it was super hot. This morning there was a wonderful breeze. Oh, it was so nice and cool. It was wonderful. But this afternoon, oh wow, it really got hot. And both Ginger and Smokey, they, they stayed under this big bush right over here. Because it's always cool down there and there's a whole bunch of leaves that I put up under there and mulch. And that's a cool, nice spot for them. He's like, what is it? But if I get two more plants, two, maybe two azaleas or something like that, I think that I'm gonna pretty much hang it up on planting anymore because I I've got enough I've got enough to deal with I pull the dead heads off of things every day um, I try to water them every single day and we're gonna we're getting to that part of the year in East Texas where we're gonna need rain it's gonna start getting really dry and I don't want my plants to suffer so So I'll have to keep watering them. I love working in the yard though. I love it. It, it really tires me out. Like, like today I was so, I was so worn out and I didn't do anything but plant that rose. I dug the hole for it yesterday. That's what was so tired hard for me to do. Boy, gone are the days when I could plant rows and rows of, of shrubs or vegetables or flowers. Can't do it anymore. And I don't, don't know if I'm gonna have to start cutting down on the amount of flowers I plant my patio. Now, had it not been for Darlene, I wouldn't have had all these wonderful plants that come back every year. So Darlene, you're just an absolute treasure. Darlene in Georgia. She sent me all those wonderful plants that are perennials and I'm so pleased to have them. Anyway, I'm gonna go in the house now. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. And I hope Ginger stays around tonight. And if he stays around tonight and tomorrow night, I'm gonna call and see if I, well, I can't call. I'll go online and see if I can get an appointment to have him you know what. And just hope like heck that whatever day they give me, he, he's here at the time I need to try to get him in one of those carriers over there. I've got him out. I'm gonna put it up on the porch. But it'll be like two or three days before, after I, what, what happens is I have to go online and submit uh, this, um, well, hello, baby. I have to go online and submit uh, a form with all the information, and then they will call me within 24 hours and give me a date when I can bring him in. And he has to be there by 9 o'clock. So, um, whatever date they give me, I hope to goodness that that Mr. Ginger 
is available that morning when I get up. I know about the night before, but I, I'm not gonna leave him in, a, in that little bitty crate overnight. He would, he would go crazy in there. You see how small that is. It's, it's big enough for him, but they are small, just the same. Maybe we can get this boy fixed. Maybe he can stay around, huh? And now after we do that, we've got all these new babies coming on. Oh, y'all, I can't wait to see them. You know what I want to do? I don't know how many there are. I want a little contest. I'm going to have a little contest on my channel. And we're going to, everybody's going to submit a name. And what, who, if somebody gets uh, the same name twice, you know, if a couple of people or whatever think of the same name, that's what I'll use. And uh, then I'll narrow it down, and then y'all vote on which one you want. How about that? That way you feel like you got a kitty at Rose Cottage, living the simple cottage life. Okay? Okay, y'all, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you coming and sitting down with me on my patio this evening. It's really nice. See you soon. Bye-bye.